Harvey Barbie here with you again. So today I wanted to do something completely different. I am, and I have to admittedly say, addicted to freaking Pinterest. It is so awesome and there's so many good ideas there. But of course there's those DIYs that you're just like, when am I going to wear those? Yeah. Yeah. We all go through that. But it doesn't mean that you can't try them, okay? Like... <laughs> I'm just saying like I've tried a couple of them that work out and some of them I know people that like tie-dye so I wanted to do this for you guys so I made tie-dye tennis shoes I had these tennis shoes in my closet and I only wore them like twice so um yeah these tennis shoes you can find them at Walmart for about five dollars and they're not that expensive uh I know people use these and people who have seen these on Pinterest um do them with like van looking shoes but that's fine i mean i had these shoes already you don't necessarily have to go buy new shoes um but i wanted to do one first because i didn't know exactly how i felt about the diy until i started doing it so <laughs> until i wanted to do it so um this is the diy that i'm doing and as you can see, the only thing that I really, I like it actually. I don't know if I'll wear them, but I like them. Um, the only thing I did not like is that the dark green right here, as you can see, um, it sort of bled into like other territory. So I think I'm going to leave that color out this time around. And that's pretty much it. Everything else I'm leaving there. But they look really, like they look cool. Like I didn't expect for it to go this way, this well. So I have my other tennis. So what I did, if you have tennis shoes that are like canvassy and they're dirty, white ones, I learned that um, Clorox bathroom cleaner, because the normal Clorox will just make them yellow. Um, Clorox bathroom cleaner and just detergent in hot water and they're like new, except for this part obviously. But I mean, it's not the biggest deal if this part doesn't get cleaned because nobody's going to really see it and you, you're still going to step on them. And you see like the wear and tear. Then you can put them in the dryer for about, to thir about 30 minutes or 20 minutes, sorry, not 30, 20 minutes and then stick them out in the sun. I live in Texas, so I'm very lucky, like I said. Another thing that you're going to need is alcohol. This is 50%. I've seen on, I've seen on Pinterest that they used um, 90% and... I didn't find it at the Dollar Tree. I try to stay in budget. Like if it's gonna cost me more than $10, more than $5, I'm more than likely gonna take forever to do it or just not do it at all because I don't know if it's gonna look nice. Um, but this was like probably like $2 that I waste, that I used to make the DIY plus stuff that I had already. So you utilize everything that you possibly have. Um, if you feel like I love tie-dye, I'm gonna wear these shoes no matter what then go for it. Buy new shoes and to your little heart's content. Um, but what I didn't, another thing that you need is a shirt that you can mess up. With the first tenny that I did, it spilled all over my shirt and I ruined a t-shirt that I actually like, that I actually wear. So make sure you do not get um, a brand new t-shirt that you like to do this. Um, so we got the alcohol done. You need Sharpies or permanent markers. Like I said, I didn't go out and buy like a million packets of Sharpies. I used $2 uh, to buy mini Sharpies at, or mini permanent markers at the Dollar Tree. So two, three, and that's it. Um, you're going to need a little container, a small cup. I have a shot glass that one of my sisters gave me. Um, I used a paintbrush, but I'll get to that right now, and a napkin. So the whole thing is that you're going to put the alcohol in the little shot glass. So you just put a little bit in there, bloop, 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 like that. If you need to pour more, you can always pour more. Um, with, the first, with the first one that I did, I used the paintbrush to sort of like squirt it onto the thing. I'm getting ahead of myself. So first what you're going to do is grab your thing, your shoe. <laughs> and you're sort of gonna go I'm gonna go in order so I'm gonna do like I'm not gonna do the dark green like I said I think it takes over a lot of the other greens a lot of the other colors and honestly it looks good without it it's fine so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with 
orange. Or you know what? Since I started with orange on the other shoe, I'm going to start with blue. So I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to start blue, like indigo, light green, red, pink, and orange. So I'm going to do blue. And all you do is you, like, make a little dot. And you're going to, maybe I'll make it bigger. And they do not need to be perfect. Do not even, at all, at all. Um, it's really easy. And you're just going to, you're just going to continue making dots around. Um, and yeah, you just continue using, go through the procession of colors. I'll show you in a minute. I want to get a couple of them, a couple of rows done. So you sort of get the idea of what you're actually doing. And don't get stingy with the color. If you have to make more round circles than you go for it the one thing that i will tell you is that where i left them more spaced out is where it looked prettier like you see some white streaks and that actually makes the tie-dye look more tie-dye-ish so where i wanted to make sure that i got as many circles as in as possible in the other shoe it looked a little smeared in part it was because of the dark green but a lot of the part was because of the actual um, spacing that I put into the shoe. Okay, so basically this is what you're going to be doing. And you just go around again and around again. And I'm going to show you a little bit more. Um, so you sort of just, let me see if I can do this like this. Yeah, and you just... Some of them, you're going to notice that some markers, every marker is made differently. I mean, they're made by the same company, but they're made differently in a different, like there's something that has to do with the colors because I feel like the lighter colors sort of bleed in to like the actual canvas or like the material that the shoe is made of, which is fine with me. Like I don't mind it. I actually like that it's going to make it easier for me to make a bigger circle or whatevs, you know. Um, but it does take a little while getting used to making all the little circles and stuff, um, little dots, and it does look cute. I, okay, I was almost tempted, I'm not going to lie, I was almost halfway tempted to just leaving it like this, because it looks cute, like, I like it, but <sighs> I was on a quest, so, um, like I said, I was not... I was not going to put the alcohol in there. And then half of my whole thing was like, well, I don't have the right alcohol, so maybe I should just leave it like that. And honestly, like, it looks cute. I I don't know if I would wear it um, for, like, normal everyday things. Like, I don't think I'd wear them to class. But I think that I would wear them, like, we have a lot of really fun stuff that we do with my sorority. And um, there's different events that you dress up for, so, of course, I would wear them for that. There's always, there's always a need for fun shoes or a different color, just addition to the colors. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to continue and see once I decided to leave this part like this. I like it like that, the way I did in the first one. So I'm just going to do this part really quick, and then I'll show you. I won't do the back here, but I'll show you so you can just get the idea of it. And you just continue going. I'm almost done, like I said. Um, so how was your day? <laughs> um, I have an event tomorrow as well as moving. So I, I'm semi-excited. I'm the... I'm the first procrastinator of the world. I'm the best one. Like, if you tell me, like, you need to do something by tomorrow and it's a lot of pressure, I sort of, was, I sort of, like, procrastinate. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'll do it. It'll get done. I promise. And it will get done. It's just not going to get done early. <laughs> It'll get done on time. So I'm almost done. I'm 
almost getting to my last couple of dots. And that was my last dot. So this is what it looks like once it's all done. And you sort of see the progression of colors. So now what you were going to do is grab this alcohol, um, the 50%. Like I said, Pinterest said 90, but the 50% worked okay, and that's what I found at Dollar Tree. So um, I'm going to grab the napkin just because I feel like it's easier. If you don't like the smell of alcohol, then maybe you don't want to do this part, and maybe you'll use the paintbrush and sort of just like – I'm going to show you both ways. First, I'm going to show you the paintbrush method that I did. It worked in part, but I didn't like it very much. So you sort of just like put your thing there and then you just sort of let it like squirt on top of the, and you see it made it, it makes it sort of bleed. It makes it bleed, which is awesome because that's what you want. But in order to make the progression longer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the napkin absorb all the liquid. I'm going to sort of just stick it in there and make it absorb all the alcohol. And that way I don't have to go back and forth to the thing and it's easier for me to just make it bleed. So I'm going to sort of just do this all over and I'm going to angle it so that way it can... And it sort of starts doing that, which you want. You want it to look like that. Um, I'm going to put more alcohol on this. It starts looking a little wonky at first because you're not expecting for it to be like a mesh of colors. And then once it's dry, it gives it a different look. But you sort of want to like use gravity to your advantage and I sort of like tilted it a little bit towards me and you probably don't want it to like drip off of the the shoe so much but you sort of want it to bleed into each other and let's see it was sort of and I don't know I'm just doing this because I thought it was, I thought it was cool and it was gonna be that expensive, and it was something different that we could do together. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it looks sort of cool. You can see some of the actual dots that you made, um, but as, oh, sorry, as the actual alcohol starts drying out then you start seeing less definition of the dots and more of the spreading and more of the um, tie-dye, um, per se. But it was really fun making them, and honestly, like, it, it's not hard. It's just time-consuming. Um, the only thing you do need is, like, a little – I have, like, a little folding table in front of me, so that's going to be easy for me to, like – if I drop anything, it'll fall on the table. Um, the first time that I did them, I did not have the table in front of me. I had it by me, and I was sort of just, like – watching YouTube and just doing whatever, but I really like it. These came out different than th this one. Um, it makes it, it gives it a different look. See? Oh, wrong one. So you do what you want. You use, you express as much as you want. The one thing that I did notice with this one is that because I started it with a dark color, it looks a little bit darker. If you notice, like, See the difference? Um, this one I started it with the, with the lighter color. I started it with orange, then I went to pink, then I went to red. And in that sense, it was cool because you see a lot of the light colors in the front. And this one's like the dark colors in the front, which is fine. I don't mind it. These are shoes, like I said, these aren't like everyday shoes. These would be shoes that I would wear to do something fun. You want to make sure that you clean that rim right there um, of any excess alcohol. Um, to make sure that you get all of the uh, the permanent marker off. And that's pretty much it. Like, I like them a lot. Um, yeah, it was it's super simple. 
It's economic. If you already have the markers, then you don't have to worry about it. And there's other tie-dye methods that you would use where you actually soak your markers in alcohol. This method is not going to mess up any of your markers. You can reuse your markers with whatever you want to use them, and it's not going to mess up your markers. Like I said, it's not going to make your markers, like, lose ink. So that is it for this um, tutorial or DIY um, for Pinterest. And thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for sharing my videos. I really appreciate that, too. Keep on sharing them, please. Also, if you would like to be part of the Carby Barbie, subscribe to my video below and see more different videos. Also, if you want to see anything different, go ahead and comment on my videos. Bye, guys.